Hi everybody, my name is Tess and I'm here to help you guys do the Rococo Smart Suit tutorial videos today. Today we are just going to be going over what is inside your suit and just some of the really basic stuff once you get it. So as you can see, this is the waterproof cover suit. So when you want to hang it up anywhere, make sure your suit is in this with the hanger right here. It's much easier if you have uh, multiple suits and you label them. So right now, part of our logo say Roar. We have the large, another large tag right here since we have multiple suits. I'm gonna be showing you the larger one today. So we're just gonna zip it down. Down, when you are putting the suit in here, it is most easily accessible. Let me take it out and show you what I mean. So you want your suit to be laying flat. These are the legs. The legs would usually be extended out, but you wanna fold them in like this. Fold this leg in like this. The arm piece, just laying flat, same out the other arm piece. And then you can put it in the suit very easily. So right now we're gonna move the leg pieces right out of the way. Arm pieces right here. You're gonna see a whole bunch of these Velcro straps. So when you put your arm in the suit, when you put the suit on, you can adjust it by pulling right here and then obviously using the Velcro to attach it. You wanna make sure these are pretty tight so that way when you move the sensors right here are not moving. I'll show you real quick. There's tons of zippers all over this to make the sensors very easily accessible. So right here, here is what the sensor looks like. These are just the wiring. When you do take apart the suit, which I will show you in the next couple videos probably, you're gonna unattach through the Velcro. There's a little Velcro spot right there. And so when you are putting back in the suit, it is very, very easy. You just put it right back on so you know exactly where all of them go. And then you just zip it back up once you have all of them on. The arms have one sensor here, one sensor for the hands, and then another sensor up here. So now this cable it's gonna be loose and dangling, so you're usually just gonna put it here once you are putting this inside the suit cover. This is just the headband sensor, so that way your head track movements are being tracked. We're gonna unzip the suit right now. And as you can see from inside, there's little pouches every now and then, and this is where you would enter the suit. If you need to know how to wash it, right here there are three symbols, and I'll explain what that is inside the manual if you do not know what those symbols are. That's all we really need to know for the inside the suit, or at least in the front. When we zip it back up, the, mm, the best parts, like the brain of the suit, the hub, is in the back side. So the back side right here, you're gonna see three zippers running up and down the suit and one zipper running side to side. This is where your hub is gonna be. This is where your power is gonna be. And then the two side to side zippers, as you can see right now, are just the back zipper or back sensors. And you can access the soldier ones right there. Same thing with this one. When you unzip this, this is where the headband is connected to. It runs all the way up the neck of the suit. And then right here is where you would be plugging in your power bank or your battery pack, however you call it. Here it is, very easy. Plug into there to make sure that it is on and running. You would unzip this and you would see this blue light on the hub. And some of these lights may or may not be on, that doesn't matter right now. Just focus on the blue light that is on where the power button is. Mine are already all charged up. They use a micro USB to charge up. You just unplug it and then boom, it is off. Right here, there is a miniature pouch that is perfect size for this. So if you're gonna be using any other power banks, you wanna make sure that they are the same dimensions as this, otherwise it is not gonna fit into the pouch. Unless you're okay with just having it outside, but this is a kind of a tight spot. So you're gonna probably want the same dimensions for another power bank. Now we're gonna focus on the HUD, or sorry, hub. Right here is gonna be your 
on and off switch right here is going to be your internet connector right here is going to be your Bluetooth connector uh, well blink light and then right here is going to make sure you're just connected so this is going to be how you're going to connect your suit to the computer or laptop that you have and make sure that you do already have installed the Rococo Studio and this takes a micro USB so we already have a micro USB right here it comes with the suit once you do plug it in and I already have the very end of it it's just another USB so you connect that into your computer or laptop you plug that in there and as you can see the light switch is not on but it turns on after a little bit since it has to still power it up a little bit and now you see a green blinking indicator that shows that your suit is connected and is seen by the Rococo Studio. So when we unplug that it's all off as you can see. This is where all your uh, wires are going to be. So once you do undress the suit from all of its wires, you must do that before washing because wires in a washing machine don't go too well together. It shows where they are. This has a little lightning bolt for showing that it is this cable. And then all the other cables are just for sensor wise. So when your actors are in the suit, it is best to have someone behind them connect the suit if you need to reconfigure some Wi-Fi settings or anything or anything else while this can be done with one person it is a little bit difficult but it's easily plug and play once you do have it in here are some of the hip straps as you can see and we're just gonna zip this back up you can lay this cable flat right here and this cable the headband all the way up to the neck you're gonna zip it all the way up you're obviously going to have some space left up from when you have the headband. You can leave the headband in here, but I like to leave it hanging out since it just the cables won't get all funky. And so that's going to be it for this video. So far I've shown you just the ins and outs of just the suit itself. We went over how to get inside where the front zipper is showing you what are the label washings. And then where the sensors are located, the straps, what they mean, the powering, and then the rest of the powering over here with the sensors and everything. And that is going to be it for this video. Thank you so much again for watching, and I'll help you, or I'll see you in the next video.